Hello again from Washington. I'm Angela Gryling Keene, president of the National Press Club. Tonight at 6.30, learn about how to make the Freedom of Information Act work for you. Bring your Wi-Fi capable laptop to the Zinger Room to hear Freedom of the Press Committee member Lizette Garcia teach you how to improve the speed and quality of your FOIA returns. The training costs $15 for National Press Club members and $30 for non-members. You can sign up on press.org. On Tuesday, come here, Colombian President Juan Manuel Santos speak at a Speakers Committee Newsmaker event at 4.30 p.m. in the Holman Lounge. The event is open to National Press Club members and credentialed media only. President Santos will talk about Colombia's economic, political, and social changes, including peace talks underway with the FARC rebel group. Later on Tuesday, listen to former Vice President Dick Cheney speak with his cardiologist, Dr. Jonathan Reiner, about their new book, Heart, an American Medical Odyssey, at 6 p.m. in the conference rooms. The event is a fundraiser for the National Press Club Journalism Institute. On Wednesday at 8 a.m., join the Communications and Marketing Committee at a National Press Club Communicators Breakfast, where business strategist Sarah Robinson will discuss how to build and sustain a fiercely loyal community of clients, customers, and fans. The breakfast in the Truman Lounge is free for club members and $10 for guests. On Thursday at 10 a.m., come to a newsmaker featuring Dr. Lewis W. Sullivan, former Secretary of Health and Human Services and creator of the Work Group for Electronic Data Interchange. Dr. Sullivan will talk about the release of the interchange, which he says will serve as a new roadmap for the health IT industry. The event will be in the Zinger Room. If you haven't cast your vote already for the 2014 National Press Club leadership, take a moment to do so now. For the first time, the club is offering online voting via press.org in the Members Only section, or you can still vote in person on Election Day, December 13th. I hope to see all of you this week at the National Press Club, the place where news happens.